right now at five, a mother forced to face the unimaginable. When I heard what happened, I just stopped everything and I just stopped running outside, running around. Her three-year-old daughter beaten and left for dead in a recycling bin. She is strong. My baby is strong. Now shares her hope for the future in a CBS 4 News exclusive. For the very first time, we're seeing that little girl whose life was changed forever that day. We're also hearing from her mother for the first time. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami Gardens with this news exclusive. Peter. Well, Francis, when we saw her earlier today, the little girl named Katura appeared healthy, happy, and energetic. You might never know that she nearly lost her life a month ago when she was brutally beaten in the head with a brick and dumped in a recycling bin. Now her mother is optimistic. We meet Katura as her mother takes her to this park in Miami Beach. She's greeted by her mother's friends. Are you okay? She plays with other children and receives gifts. Like so exciting. You might never know something horrible happened to her four weeks ago unless you look closely. The three-year-old girl is left with these scars on her head after being beaten with a brick and dumped in a recycling bin. God is good that he bought her and gave her a second chance to be here with me. Katora's mother, Shanice Johnson, shudders when she thinks of what happened. You never would think nothing like that. Uh, anything, anything like that to happen to your child while you're at work. Family members say Katura's paternal grandmother was babysitting when Katura slipped out of her home. Tristan Bernard, who lived there, reportedly followed her and attacked her after she would not listen. Katura was rushed to Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. I can't even get that fast enough. She says Katura now has a titanium plate in her head after spending two and a half weeks at the hospital. They have a great team. They really helped me out with Katura to get her back walking. Katura's grandmother and mother also thank a good Samaritan, neighbor Jose Sotomayor, for stepping in to help Katura. He is the angel that God sent to protect my baby to give her a second chance. If it wasn't for him and him hearing that particular sound and finding her in the trash can, she wouldn't be here today. Now, realtor associate Vanessa Ainswain has launched a GoFundMe page to help Katura and her mother find a new place to live. It's really a horrible story, you know, what happened to this little angel. And when I heard it, it just, I knew I had to help her. I want to see Katura go to college, and I know I will. This is a sign to maybe God put her here to do something, and I have to get her to a full potential for her to be somebody special in the world to let them know that she is strong. My baby is strong. Now, Katura has had some slight speech problems, but her mother hopes that she will recover. She says Katura may still need months of therapy. Now, to find out about the family's GoFundMe page set up to help them with housing expenses, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. We are live in Miami Gardens. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.